What if I told you there was a way that we could ensure ChatGPT returns exactly what we want every single time? Let's have a look. So if you're like me, you've been using OpenAI for quite a while and especially the API and you write functions like this in order to get the information across. The only issue is it returns a big lump of just text and we have to sift through that just to pull out what we need. I think what would be more realistic and more ideal is if we had some sort of output that actually looked like this. It was more structured. So to get that, we can actually use a package called Zod. Now Zod is a schema validation package. And what that allows us to do is actually request a specific schema from OpenAI. So to turn this into this, all we're going to need to do is install Zod and add a few lines of code. So first of all, let's install Zod. So we say npm i Zod. And that will install Zod for us. And then we can import Zod into our JavaScript file. To do this, we say const z is equal to require Zod. And we also want to import the OpenAI helpers for this. So const Zod response format is equal to require OpenAI slash helpers slash Zod. So now that we have those two imported, what we want to do is start creating the schema. So we could, first of all, we're going to have a project schema. That's going to be the very top level schema. And that's going to include a project name of a string, a description, which is a string, and then tasks, which is an array of task schema. So with that, let's now create the task schema. The task schema is going to be a type of object, and that's going to include a name, a description, a duration in hours, and whatever dependency it requires. So for example, a previous task that we've created or that the AI has created. So now that we have those schemas actually created, it's super simple to add them into our completion here. So underneath model, what we want to do is create a response underscore format. That's going to be equal to Zod response format dot Zod response format. Then we're going to inject our project schema inside of there and we're going to tie it to a type of event. And there's two other updates we need to do here. At the moment, I'm writing to this fs write file sync to an output outputjson And um, we look for the content, but what we need to do now is look for the past. And then we change this console log here just so we can see what happens. So if I now click save, let's change this to output new. Click save and let's run this inside of here. So node dot. Okay, so task schema actually needs to be above the project schema. And let's run that again. So let's now look at our output new. You can see we have a project name, description, task, name, description, duration in hours, and dependencies. And this is following exactly what we've asked it to follow. And we will get that return every single time, no matter what. Just to prove that, I'm going to run it again. And we open output new again. You can see we have exactly the same. This is a great way of ensuring that no matter what query that you give OpenAI, you're always going to get the same response back based on the schema that you've created. If you found this video useful, consider hitting the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.